Hey guys, how are you? I think I'm live. There was a poor connection. Um, my name is Rachel and I am here every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time from the Facebook Seize Your Passion group. I am the proud founder of Seize Your Passion and Siopa. And I do these weekly live streams um, really just to share with you my journey to seize my passion and share with you my growth for the week, um, my lessons for the week, my aha moments, and really what I've been thinking about on my journey to becoming my best and true authentic self and fulfilling all my dreams and achieving all my goals, which is interesting that I say achieving all my goals because that's actually part of, um, a big part of what I um, have been thinking about this week and what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, which correlates with the definition of what fulfillment really means to me and figuring out what that means to each and every one of us. Um, so first of all, I want to say that thankfully I'm here at 4 p.m. today. Um, I survived Hurricane Matthew. Um, I'll be honest that on Wednesday I had an attitude of, you know, much ado about nothing and I thought everyone was kind of just panicking unnecessarily. And then yesterday, when I saw it was getting serious, I definitely got a little scared and we, we took all the precautions and we, we hunkered down and shuttered up our house. And, you know, we actually had some friends stay with us that they were evacuated. And um, thankfully it, it passed over us and we took, you know, precautions. Un, you know, we thank God nothing happened. It's better than the alternative of not taking the precautions and, you know, um, really getting a direct hit, which we didn't, which I know a lot of people did. So I'm thankful just to be here, A. I'm thankful that we did take those precautions and they turned out to be unnecessary and that it passed over us. Um, and it also was a chance, like I said, we had some friends stay with us and my mom stayed with us. And, you know, it's interesting, but when, when Mother Nature comes or life things in life happens catastrophes or disasters or war even and i've been in that situation um it really forces you to stop sort of the going and the doing and the schedule that you feel you're committed to doing every day and just be with the ones you love and you know shut everything else off and really start to think about and that naturally leads to start to talking about you know what really matters in life and and what um what it's all really about at the end of the day and so last night while we were waiting for this hurricane to arrive um it was like waiting for godot which never came thankfully again um my friend and i were talking about um we picked up a little bit on the conversation and the topic that i that i did a live stream on last week about the concept of more is better in the context of personal growth and achieving your goals and fulfilling your dreams, that complacency is sort of the antithesis of growth. And the minute you com become complacent and comfortable and cease to strive to achieve more and become more, um, that's, that's the complete, you know, death of growth. And to me, that's, you know, you might as well, that is the definition of death, right? When you're, there's a status quo and you're no longer growing and becoming better and learning more and achieving more and becoming more and creating more and adding more and loving more and learning more. Um, so we were talking about that concept and we were saying how, well, on the one hand, you know, we've achieved so much, right? So many of us have reached a point in our lives where we've really achieved a lot of the goals that we set out for ourselves earlier on. And yet we get to this point where it's not so much necessarily that something's missing, but we want more. We, we feel like there's, there's got to be more to it than just these goals that we've achieved, right? More fulfillment, more purpose, more passion, perhaps. Um, and, you know, sort of this, this misconception, I think, of what, you know, achievement is and what fulfillment is, because what we were talking about and what it made me think about is that, you know, oftentimes the notion of fulfillment and attaining a fulfilling life is very much correlative to and directly related to achieving certain goals, right? You, you, and goals help us get to where we want to get and whole, goals help us 
take action, and goals help us sort of define what success means to us at different stages of our life, right? So goals are great, and achieving those goals are great, but achievement and goals are not necessarily synonymous with fulfillment, right? Because again, you get to a certain point in your life, and this is what my friend and I were talking about, where, okay, I've achieved you know, successful career, a marriage, whatever boxes you want to check off that you set out for yourself earlier on in your life. And yet, you know, there's something more that we know is out there for us or that we want to attain, right? And, and that something is, has to do with the definition of fulfillment. You know, it has to do with connecting to your true authentic self, who you're meant to be and why you're here, right? It's that universal existential question and, and journey that we're all on of figuring out, okay, what is the purpose of my life? Why am I here? You know, yes, I want to achieve all these goals and yes, it's not, they're not mutually exclusive, right? You could continue to strive to achieve your goals, but you have to realize that fulfillment is not necessarily synonymous with that achievement. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. And they're not mutually exclusive either. You know, you could do both and you could have both. And one of the things that we were talking about specifically in this context was, you know, that a lot of people, I think, assume that seizing your passion and fulfilling your dreams and becoming your best self and achieving your goals means that you have to make whatever you're passionate about or whatever your dreams are, your you have to align it with your goals, meaning you have to align it with your career or what you do for a living or what your life, what your job is. And that's not necessarily true for all of us. It can be, you know, for some of us it is, and that's great, you know, but for a lot of us, we can have a job that's not necessarily our passion, that's not necessarily our, you know, existential answer to fulfillment in life, but it serves its purpose, we enjoy it, we're good at it, it pays the bills, and actually, I'll take it a step further. What I said to my friend was, I know a lot of people who, when they did try and make their passion and what they loved doing and what brought them fulfillment and joy and inspired them to wake up every day, their career or their main source of living and income and, and their job in life, it often killed the actual passion for whatever that activity or, or creative thing was um, because it's, it was now attached to certain goals, right? And when you have goals, you, inevitably you have metrics, right? And inevitably you're gonna either succeed or fail along the way, and you'll probably do a little bit of both, right? Until you achieve those goals. And so when you attach a passion and fulfillment, that fulfillment that we're all looking for to goals and metrics of success and failure and, and having to, you know, provide for your family based on that or make a living or whatever that definition of success is for that passion and for that fulfillment, then unfortunately, it, it, or unfortunately, it's just, it's just truth that oftentimes it could actually kill the very passion and, and the joy and the fulfillment that you got out of it in the first place. So I think the takeaway for me this week and my lesson of the week and my aha moment is A, to realize that fulfillment and achievement are not synonymous and they're not mutually exclusive and you could have one without the other and you could have both and they could be separate areas, A, and B, my other sort of takeaway and aha moment is that you, at the end of the day, it really comes down to figuring out yourself and that's what the true fulfillment, I think, that's where the true fulfillment comes in, is figuring out, you know, what do you, what do you want out of life? What are your goals? But then also figuring out, okay, what brings me fulfillment? And are they aligned or is it a separate area? Is it something I'm going to do on the side but not make it my career? And what's true for you is only true for you and only you can figure it out. And there's no one answer at one time, you know? We, I always say this, we grow and evolve, and as we grow and evolve, our passions grow and evolve, our goals grow and evolve. So you could have different 
goals at different times in your life and different things that bring you fulfillment at different times in your life and different stages in your life. And what's true for you is never true for someone else. You know, one of my favorite, favorite quotes that to me tied in with what we were talking about, my friend and I, and, and what I'm talking about now is Oscar Wilde's quote, you know, be yourself because everybody else is taken. So, you know, if someone else is passionate about being a rock star, then, you know, for them, that path of how they that how they you know achieve that fulfillment from that passion is completely different from your path you know for you it may not be your career but you could still somehow experience it and use it in the other areas of your life and again it all comes down to not only figuring out yourself and being true to yourself and 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 again that changes over different stages so what's what's true for you today you know what what brings you fulfillment today now that you've achieved a b and c goals what, what are your next goals and and are they going to you know give you the fulfillment you're looking for in every area or is there something else that you can do that's separate from your career or your business that's going to give you more fulfillment or different fulfillment um and you know just be true to yourself you know just and and I think the real fulfillment actually comes from figuring that out, you know, and that's what they mean when they say it's about the journey and not the end result and not the end goal. You know, the process of figuring that and we're constantly figuring ourselves out. We're constantly growing and learning about ourselves and um, about what brings us fulfillment and impassioned lives at the end of the day. Um, so that was really my takeaway this week, um, you know, is really just figuring it out and focusing on what's true for you and not necessarily fitting it within a box of achievement of goals or tying it to a goal. You know, you could, you could do something that you're passionate about that brings you fulfillment that has nothing to do with an end goal or achieving a goal or a career or a business or your life project. It can, and if that if that's the case, great, but it doesn't have to be, you know? And, and seizing your passion is really for anyone that whether you're, again, whether it's it's it's, it's directly correlated to, to, you know, starting a business or fulfilling a dream that's connected to your career or, or just going and, and, and painting on the weekends because you used to love to paint when you were a kid. And, and that's something that's missing in your life. Even though you've achieved all these other amazing successes, you miss that time by yourself where you could just create and just paint. Not, not to sell in a gallery and not to make money off of it and not for any end goal, just for the pure joy and fulfillment that it brings you. You know, that's, that's what sees your passion means to some of us, you know, it's, and it's different for each and every one of us. And, Again, I think at the end of the day, it's really about figuring what's true for you and being your authentic true self and what brings you fulfillment, you know, and achieving goals is part of it, but it's not necessarily, you know, synonymous with it. Um, yeah, so nice to see all the familiar names joining. Hi, everyone. If anyone has any comments, go ahead and share talking about fulfillment versus achievement and how it's different for each and every one of us and being true to yourself and it's not necessarily connected to your career um, and how it changes with as we grow and evolve and change and different stages, different things bring us fulfillment and we could have achieved a number of goals and that's not necessarily related to the more fulfillment that we want out of life. So thanks for the thumbs up and the likes, everyone. Um, anyone have any thoughts or comments to add to this lovely pontification about defining fulfillment and um, how that ties into achieving your goals um, or not, right? It may have nothing to do with your goals. And sometimes, you know, if you do connect your passion to achieving your goals, it actually kills the passion. Um, because it's connected to a goal and it's tied to, you know, success and failure metrics and it's not just to do it for the sake of doing it and just enjoying it. Um, no, nope, no comments. Okay. I'm going to sign off then guys. Thanks for joining. I'm glad that all my South Florida friends, I'm seeing all the names, um, are safe like I am, um, and that, um, it missed us. So enjoy the weekend, do something you love, whether it's your career or not, find fulfillment and achieve some goals too, why not? Seize your passion, everyone, bye.